Hi guys, welcome to the Classes Corner. I'm Kat, and this week I'm going to be talking about Hades by Supergiant. I spent just a bit of a background for this game. Um, I spent a lot of lockdown um, on my new Nintendo Switch, which I uh, had got for my birthday, and different different games. Um, so, just for background for context, I don't normally play a lot of combat games. I play things like Animal Crossings and Stardew Valley and like uh, Sims, classic Sims. Um, so when I heard a lot of buzz talking about this new indie game that came out in September, um, but I only really heard about it online a couple of, about a month or so ago, um, called Hades, um, which was meant to be set in the underworld and loads of loads of classic things. I did have to check it out, but I was a little bit wary because I'm, you know, it was it is a sort of roguelike dungeon crawler type combat game, uh, which I am a not that familiar with. I don't really play it. Like I said, I don't really play a lot of those type of games. Uh, B just straight up not good at them. Like I, you know, every done every sort of combat game I've ever tried, I'm just bad at. So I wasn't sure I wanted to check it out, but I just kept on hearing so much about it, um, both from, you know, uh, lots of gaming things, which I'm quite interested in, but also from a classics point of view, you know, how it used Greek and Roman mythology uh, and literature, sort of incorporating themes and characters incorporated into the game. Uh, I did have to check it out, um, which actually I'm really, really glad I did. It is a fantastic game. And like I said, this is coming from someone who isn't normally a fan of those type of games, uh, sort of dungeon crawler roguelike type things. Uh, but I am so, so glad I got it because it is just, it's so much fun. Um, <laughs> the combat system is actually really good, uh, even for someone like me, who is not a huge fan of those type of things normally. And it's just, you can just spend hours on it. I've spent so many hours just running through that game so many times. Um, it's just, it's a really fun experience. So if you want a recommendation from a classics and literature channel, uh, who hasn't posted in a while, but is having to post now because of this game. So this game is so good that it has actually inspired me to start up my YouTube channel again. Uh, I absolutely recommend it. Go play it on um, whatever you can. I have it on Switch, but I think you can also get it on Steam. So I would recommend it 100%. But like I said, there are so many things, um, so many classical reception, uh, like really juicy, interesting things to talk about um, in Hades that I did have to start my channel again. So this is probably going to be the first of quite a few videos on uh, Hades uh, for the next couple of weeks. Um, I can't cover everything about this game in one video, um, especially because I'm at least quite short videos. So there we are. Um, so this week I'm going to be talking about the main character of Hades, which is not actually Hades, it is Zagreus. Now, in the game, uh, which by the way I'm going to be mentioning spoilers for this game, so if you haven't played it, uh, please go away and play it if you can, uh, and if you don't mind spoilers, carry on watching, but yes, spoiler warning for the game because there are quite a lot of story elements that I'm going to have to mention. Uh, so in Hades, Zagreus is Hades' son, he is the prince of the underworld uh, who is dissatisfied with both his father and his place in the underworld, so he is trying to escape. Um, the different levels of the underworld to get to the surface, um, seemingly with to get to Mount Olympus. So with he has help from his Olympian relatives, uh, and um, sort of to get to the surface. But he also wants to go find his birth mother Persephone, who uh, left when he was an infant, and he's trying to get to her. So there's lots of interesting things to talk about. Um, with Zagreus as a character, uh, both from a game point of view, because he's just a very pleasant protagonist to play. He's really, he's quite polite, he's, but he's quite snarky. He's just, he's just a really fun person to run through the game with. Uh, and there's lots of interesting things about his character to experience, but also from a classics point of view, in that Zagreus is something I, this is not a technical term, but it's what I sort of like to call in my head. Uh, he is sort of a fragmentary figure from Greek mythology. Um, and Greek, ancient Greek and Roman literature, in that he does exist. Zagreus is a figure from um, Greek literature, 
uh, and Greek mythology, but he is not an extant figure, which means there is no one particular text that features Zagreus, and there's just not a lot of information around him because all of the liter uh, literary information we have of him is fragmentary, so we don't have any full text. Uh, so, and he's quite a minor figure as far as we're aware uh, in classics, just because there isn't any real, there's not really lots to go on with him, uh, but he's a classical figure. So um, Supergiant uh, didn't just magic him up, uh, they didn't invent a person, um, a figure, they did take a ancient Greek Catholic deity. Ooh partially chthonic, I will get to that. Um, so Zagreus, like I said, is fragmentary and there's some really interesting things about him. Um, were, the most that we get about Zagreus from the fragments that we have are from different types of poetry surrounding uh, Orphic worship and Orphism, which was a, a cult, a sort of uh, pretty much like a mystery cult, um, sort of the mid fourth century BC, fifth fourth century is where Orphism sort of roughly. Someone will probably correct me, but roughly that time period where you had a lot of people, and it sort of coincides with a lot of Elysian mystery cult stuff. Sometimes it's a bit older, but it can tie into you. Where Orphism is sort of obsessed, was sort of uh, obsessed with. Uh, in the myth of Orpheus, uh, descending into the underworld and sort of rebirth. So that suits really well with the character of Zagreus in the game because he is constantly dying and getting reborn into the underworld. There is a lot of imagery of rebirth and um, he actually has a reverse catabasis, which uh, catabasis is the uh, literary technique of a hero descending into the underworld. So loads of uh, ancient heroes have a catabasis. So Hercules, Theseus, or Heracles, Heracles, Theseus, um, Aeneas, sort of Odysseus, um, and Orpheus. Uh, so Zagreus has sort of opposite thing as them. He is trying to rise out of the underworld, uh, sort of an acrobatus, if you will. Um, uh, so he is constantly doing that, but then he is doing, uh, he, he dies and returns to his original point. So he is almost a god of rebirth. Um, so how, so the game actually uses those classical links for quite a minor figure who don't have enough still quite well, um, given his original context. Um, so, but with Zagreus, uh, in the game he is the son of Hades, and in lots of the uh, fragments we have about him, there's actually some debate about whether Zagreus is the son of Zeus and Persephone, and actually really closely aligned with the god Dionysus. So I think in the poems by, fragmentary poems by Callimachus, uh, we have a lot of things that um, Zagreus is another name for sort of as Di like a Dionysic Zagreus. So he is actually, so he was the son of, he of Zeus and Persephone, who was meant to be the his Zeus's heir, and then a jealous hero got the Titans to kill him, basically kill and eat him, because classics loves a bit good kill and eat story for some reason. Um, but then uh, Zeus was able to get hit, uh, sort of revive a fragment of himself, like I think his heart, and then have him reborn uh, through uh, the Theban princess Semele to be what Dionysus would be. So Zagreus would be the chthonic side of Dionysus. And again, lots of rebirth imagery there. And actually there's some jokes in the game uh, about this, which is really fun, which um, if you bother uh, Orpheus, who was a figure in the game enough, um, Zagreus will start uh, in the game. Will start telling him basically lies and saying he's actually kind of Dionysus, and Orpheus will sort of run with this story. It's really funny. Um, so the the creators um, were really aware of this, which is just fantastic. So that's really fun. Um, but actually, then Zagreus actually got more associated with Hades later on um, from the playwright Asclepius, because we do have fragments of his of the um, 
fragments of the tragic plague Sisyphus, uh, where there is more alignment with uh, Zagreus becomes not the son of Zeus, but he becomes the son of Hades and Persephone. So there's sort of a really interesting fragmentary history there. Which the writers of the game, um, the lead writer Greg Casavan, uh, he has said in an interview with the Washington Post, because um, when the game started gaining a lot of popularity as an indie game, uh, they got quite a lot of press. He said he, you know, he was fascinated by Greek mythology and he said a really interesting thing. He said that most stories now which use Greek myth uh, only really use other modern retellings of Greek myth and not going back to the original stories themselves. Um, something like that, I'm massively paraphrasing. I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, actual article down below. Um, and what I found a really interesting thing to say, uh, especially with his you in conjunction with his use of Zagreus as a mythological character, because he took this figure who we only have minor examples from. Like, I'm not, I don't know his full process. He might have literally just Googled Son of Hades when he had this idea for this game, um, and then um, put it through, you know, what he wanted to do, and then he might have just found this really interesting. A backlog of this fragmentary figure that we have uh, and then sort of incorporated it into that story when he was doing research which I think is probably most likely uh, especially because Zagreus is you know he is in the game he is the god of rebirth and he's the god of blood which FYI I don't I did look into it. I don't think there is actually an ancient Greek god of blood specifically um, but Zagreus is definitely a figure of rebirth in the fragments that we have of him. Uh, so I do think they put a lot of thought in how they were going to use this character uh, thematically. And then they did build his sort of personality around that in that he, you know, he is both part of sort of the Olympian dynasty and he is part of the chronic. And I think how they incorporated that into the game is really interesting um, from a literary point of view. Um, and it's, again, like I said, it's just ple it's pleasant to come around with him. Um, so I'm actually really glad that they were able to do that with such an interesting figure. And I think there's probably going to actually be more, you know, and these sort of things is really interesting from classics because when a relatively, you know, popular thing uses a minor classical figure, there almost becomes a more interesting reason. There becomes more focus on studying that figure in classics. There is an actual knock-on effect into academia with these sort of things. So I think probably more people will be interested in looking at small uh, chthonic fragments to find out more about sort of minor figures like Zagreus. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, it'll be uh, interesting what people come up with when they actually take another look um, because it hasn't really been studied that much and I think that's really cool. Um, so that's all there is to say about Zagreus at the moment, I'll probably bring up more about him um, in later videos. Uh, like I said, this game has so much stuff in it to, ha and, like, to get your teeth into with classics. There's so many interesting things to talk about um, that I'll have to do multiple videos. Um, and if you have any questions, I will uh, answer them in the comments, hopefully, about my experience playing the game so far. It's really fun, like I said, definitely check it out. Um, and. I hope you guys have fun playing it if you haven't already. Um, let me know your thoughts on the game so far and yeah I will probably see you all soon. So um, if you can please like, share and subscribe. I will be trying to put up more videos over the next couple of weeks um, talking about Hades a lot. So I will see you guys there. Okay. Bye!